future. <laughs> okay, this is the date today is the 12th of December, Monday the 12th of December 2016. Um, I got up super early because I've started um, basically training my wife now at the gym. So things are going to change with my weighing and everything else because it's impossible for me, uh, well it's not impossible to weigh myself in the morning. Um, but it's hard for me just to be talking at this kind of level because then everyone's fast, fast asleep. Not kind of, sort of asleep, they're in a deep sleep. So I get up before my wife and daughter, before they just get up and so I need to get in and out of the bathroom. So I weighed myself this morning and I was at 112.9. Now, the reason for that is because I, was, I weighed myself probably literally about four or five hours earlier than what I usually do, so it's not really fussing me. So the way I'm gonna weigh in now, is I'm just gonna basically, when I come back from the gym, after my wife showered, I shower usually after her. I'll just shower, and I'll just weigh myself, simple as that. And then we'll take it from there. I'm still trying to work out if I'm gonna carry on with the intermittent fasting, if I'm gonna stop it for a little bit or slack it, but I'll explain that in the next video. But right now I'm just weighing myself in, put this up, and then we'll take it from there. So, and then, like I said, because I weighed myself a lot, lot earlier, I'm not even gonna even take the one I had this morning. I mean, I can, it doesn't bother me, but it's like, um, and obviously, so this is the really new way I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna just basically go GM, do what I've gotta do, blah, blah, blah. So today I'm 112.1. It's about, what's the time? I think it's about one o'clock. Um, so I've been back from the gym, just showered and everything else. Been back about an hour, hour and a half ago. Showered, etc. And what I will be doing is I'll be breaking my fast earlier because I'm getting up earlier. And then my window will still be around about three to four hours, maybe four and a half hours. Um, so I would have stopped eating by six o'clock. Um, and we'll take it from there and I'll feed back how things are going to go. So when I sit down and do my summary of just the, the cycle two that I've just finished of the intermittent fasting, I'll be able to cover a lot of bits and pieces. But like I said, this morning or now 112.1, um, that's it. As simple as that. I was 112.1 yesterday, so at the same level. Yes, I've gone to gym and everything else, but... Um, it's the time I'm weighing myself now when I'm usually getting ready to go to the gym. Well, no, I usually go to the gym probably about two, probably about any time between half two and no, any time between half one and say half three. That's when I'm usually going to the gym. So I've gone a lot, lot earlier anyway. So simple as that. I've noticed because I've been weighing myself, and that's the good thing what I do because I know what goes on. There's a fluctuation that goes on continuously. One to do with the gym. One to do with the time of day when you weigh yourself, one if you poo, one what you ate, you know, beforehand. So there's always a fluctuation of everything else. So I'm going to start, this is how I'm going to start doing my weighing. So it's not going to be two kind of weigh-ins anymore, it's just going to be one, just bang, after I've showered, after the gym or whatever. Simple as that, if I've gone gym or if I haven't gone gym, after I've had a shower in the day, okay, or in the morning or whatever. And we'll do it that way. All right, so hopefully it's helping you. Hopefully you're getting a lot of information in regards to do with collating information, getting to learn and getting to know your body. I'm showing you what I'm doing with mine and I've been able to do that and pick up what, what I understand now to do with intermittent fasting and what I understand to do with my own body. And that's the key thing with whatever you do, if you're seriously serious about trying to lose weight and keeping that weight off, you need to start learning what foods does what to you, what does a lack of sleep does to you, when you kind of have erratic kind of sleep patterns or if you're dealing with stress, it's a case of trying to collate and learn and pick up with what's going on and obviously then trying to find a good time to when it's convenient for you to weigh yourself and then try to do it like that continuously. If it changes, that's fine. As long as it's a kind of a, there's a big change and you start carrying following on with that. So I'm changing uh, drastically the time when I weigh myself and um, I'm just moving. <sighs> My arm is getting tired because I've done gym today. Um, so let me just talk this number afterwards. Yeah, so if things change drastically, it doesn't matter as long as you're going to have a consistent time of how you're going to be recording the data thereafter. Okay, and that's that's the thing. It's just getting to know yourself, getting to know your body, and beginning to have some form of continuity. All right, I'm going to speak further on this because my arm's just shot because I've been uh, training my arms today. Speak to you later. Take care.
my clicks are completely gone because there's a whole series of videos <laughs> just one after another okay so I've weighed myself in today 112.1 as you know I'm doing things differently now so going to the gym a lot earlier because I'm training my wife now uh, I've gone into the gym I could have done it beforehand but I was waiting for a bike to sort out and then I was waiting to finish the intermittent fast cycle and everything else and it looks like I'm going to probably still carry on I'll make a decision within the next couple of days but I'm still trickling it through right now for the next couple of days anyway so and we'll have an update on that so I just wanted to say that because this video is just coming out to yourself with another video that I've got either coming before or after this today. That's going to be to do with answering a question to do with medication and intermittent fasting. So look out for that. And just to say the summary to do with everything will be coming uh, tomorrow. Basically, I just had to do a whole lot. I had a whole lot of videos that I needed to get out. So I needed to get them out first, uh, recorded and then get them out. So I'll be doing a recording to do with the summary of all the intermittent fasting on Tuesday the 13th. So it'll either be out on the 13th of December, yeah, of December 2016 or, on the or it'll be out on, on Wednesday the 14th, okay? And then that will be that and I've got a whole new series of different stuff coming which you, you'll get a, a good idea from once you've watched the, the medication video as well. And I've got others, there's a lot of stuff coming, some new... Not revamped in it, but I'm just going to be kind of switching it up, bringing in a whole lot of new stuff as well. And then later on, there's going to be some, got some very, very good stuff coming in the very near future. All right, so hold on to your horses, keep watching, keep following, subscribe, please, if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you if you comment, I truly love your comments as well. Okay, any questions, just send them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why? Come on. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Just go do it already. Thank you for your support. See you soon. Bye-bye.